Nissan. What is up? Back at it again. Going to the garage. Those are the best things ever. Still in the process of sanding down the engine bay. I'm gonna clean up some of the wiring. The factory wiring harness, not the factory wiring harness, but the engine bay harness. And got some shop liners for the toolbox, pretty cheap. Yeah, let's do it. So with it being winter and it's cold in my garage, the proper thing to do is to warm your body up with a little bit of Smith Creek Peach Moonshine. Cheers. Is it good? Yeah. Oh. So we're out here in the garage. This is Alex. What up? I've known Alex for years. Back when I started working on cars like 10 years ago, my Acura Integra. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but he decided to come over and hang out, kick it in the garage, drink some drinks, listen to some music, and help me sand this vehicle down. So I'm pretty thankful for him. We're going to knock this out, but I'm going to turn this camera around and show you what we're doing. So if you can look and see, there's a lot of work to do. Whoever painted this beforehand, looks like they just painted over the factory red without sanding it down. And it's been a little bit of a pain. I'm not quite sure what they painted it with, but it looks like dog crap. So we're taking 60 grit. I'll do 60, 180, 220. Work my way up to about a thousand wet sand, primer it, so on and so forth. But right now we're prepping the strut towers for tomorrow. We're gonna be welding up the front end. Any point where the front end is going to be welded to, we're making sure we're taking a lot of time on so it's well prepped and there's no issues. But that's what we're doing, so we're going to continue it and uh, I'll give you an update here in a little bit. So we've been busy. We just killed some tacos, thanks to Kels. But we got the subframe out, the whole front end. Still gotta do the sway bar, a couple other things. We're gonna sand the whole thing, get it ready for a tube front end, get it ready for paint, prep, uh, primer, so on and so forth. So let's turn this camera around and show you what we've been doing. So, I'm dirty. Can't really wipe my face off, but making progress. I uh, was able to move the master cylinder, was able to get the factory wiring harness and the windshield wiper motor off. Um, I also have just been going away on all the seam sealers so we can stitch weld it. I'm gonna turn this camera around and show you what we're doing. All right, so seam sealer has all been taken off so we can stitch weld everywhere, all the way. I mean, everywhere, down, stitch weld. I need to fix this, found that, and stitch weld that. Found a little surprise, you know, I uh, found many surprises about this car since I bought it that I wasn't told about, which, you know, sure just shows the character of other individuals. Won't name any names, but just notice that, there's a hole. I don't know what the hell that hole's there for. It looks like somebody cut it out on purpose. So I'll have to weld that up. But besides that, just sitting away. Trying to get to where it needs to be. All right, so started this about uh, 5 p.m. It's about 10 o'clock, so I've got five hours into this. So I'm gonna call it a night, but we got pretty far. Pretty excited. Um, made a lot of progress. I still have a long way to go. I have found some things I'm gonna replace. Um, whenever I start reassembling it. Some Chase Bay's brake lines, I think they're pretty tacky looking just because of the, um, I love Chase Bay's, don't get me wrong, but what I'm meaning is, is the ones that I have in my car, they need replaced. So we're gonna do some of that. New master cylinder. Um, yeah. Steering column, several things, but made a, a lot of progress. Thanks to Alex for coming over and helping out. I'm gonna turn this camera around and show you what we did, explain some things, and I'm gonna call it a night. <coughs> so, 
Got a lot done today. Pretty much I'm ready to start stitch welding. Um, waiting to get a welder so I can start stitch welding. Need to get the tooth front end done. Waiting on 47 Motorsports, who's gonna be uh, mocking something up. We made a template, I dropped it off. They're gonna make it and we'll bring it back to see if it fits. Hopefully it fits, I don't see why I want it. They're pretty amazing. But with me painting the whole engine bay, I figured what not better to do than to actually drop everything from the front end. Um, these are some other parts that I wanna have. MC Custom Coatings and Designs, Mitch, powder coat, sway bar, hood props. Radiator stays. Just gonna make it as nice as possible. I mean, if I already got it torn apart, I might as well replace it with uh, uh, new nuts and bolts as well as freshen up everything. So it's gonna be pretty nice looking when it's done. Come over here. See these janky lines. <coughs> when I bought the car, I've been having some power steering issues as far as hearing the power steering pump whine. Well, as I'm looking at this, I'm starting to begin, it's just because of these lines, so I went ahead and bought some Chase Bay's lines. I'm going I'm gonna go ahead and freshen all this up, powder coat the uh cal Z32 front calipers and caliper brackets, probably replace the suspension and get rid of this uh stance. Um I don't know if I'm gonna replace the front voodoo arms or just powder coat them, but pretty much it's gonna make this look amazing. Make it look all brand new because that's what I'm doing it for. So yeah. Um, like I was talking about in Chase Bay's lines, right here, they're beautiful, cannot wait to put them on. Of course we got the motor underneath there, a lot of stuff left to do, but it's going to look great when it's done. Can anybody guess what color I'm doing the engine bay? If you would, drop a comment below and let's see what it is. Just want to say thanks for watching this video. Um, make sure you subscribe, comment, see what you want to see. Um, tell me what you think I'm going to do to it, what colors. And uh, look forward to making more progress hopefully soon. So I'm just going to bust out as much as I can and all the free time that I can and hopefully get it done because I got a lot of stuff and a lot of things planned for this vehicle of mine. So thanks for watching, guys.